Hi, we're Colin Vaughn, Noah Berman, Alfred Fernandez, and Spencer Chung, here to talk about our gamification project. After a stroke, many survivors suffer partial loss of control of their bodies. And while this can be debilitating, this loss of control can often at least be partially reversed through rigorous training of physical therapy. Roughly 83% of patients regain the ability to walk over time, and this is less common amongst those who lose motor control in their hands and arms, with only a 5-20% to chance to fully regain hand function altogether. Studies have shown that this is because patients are less likely to train their hands continuously. Hands can be favored more when compared to legs. When walking, even if one is heavily favoring one's leg, both will at least be somewhat exercised. It is much easier to favor one hand almost completely. Therefore, hands often receive far less training than legs and are less likely to regain full function. Our project is designed to help stroke survivors train to regain the use of their hands through repetitive motion. We created a series of mini-games that, with the use of the Leap Motion Controller, will help users complete simple tasks while training the mobility and dexterity of their hands to regain fine motor skills. We find our approach is successful compared to others because of both the fun and accessible nature of gaming and Elite Motion. Other training devices often require the user to wear stress gloves to provide force feedback and are generally not fun. By incorporating score-based minigames, users can feel a sense of accomplishment by watching the score improve. We hope this will incentivize players to continue their training and improve the odds of their recovery. While the game does not replace traditional physical therapy, we feel it would help augment their training and keep users motivated and stay on track with the recovery. We developed four different mini-games designed to test reaction time and mobility of the hands. The games require gripping, wrist, and elbow motion to maximize the muscle groups affected by the game. The game was developed using a leap motion hand tracker and uses a virtual representation of the user's hands to complete a set of different tasks. The mini-games were de developed in Unity and range between a variety of different tasks from attacking walls, to protecting castles from enemy fire, to simply grabbing targets. In conclusion, we think that gamifying repetitive muscle training can be extremely beneficial to stroke survivors. Training can be boring, especially repetitive motion training, like you've seen here. We feel the use of score-based minigames, along with traditional physical therapy, can help any players move towards full recovery of their hand motor skills. Thank you for watching our presentation.